everyone, my name is Rebecca Vanderheiden and I am the Riverbend Ag in the Classroom Coordinator here in Scott County. And today we are gonna be learning about trees and um, what they provide for us, which is oxygen. So to begin, we're gonna be reading a book called The Forest Where Ashley Lives. So we'll take a look at the book and then we will regroup. The Forest Where Ashley Lives written by Mark Vitosh and Ashley Vitosh and illustrated by John L. Smith. Hi, my name is Ashley. I'm seven years old. I like to play soccer in the spring, ride my bike in the summer, make leaf piles in the fall, and build snow people in the winter. I also like to take walks around town with my dad and my dog, Ubu. My dad is a tree person. He, he's called the town forester because he takes care of the trees in our town forest. Do you have a forest where you live? Trees are, very, are everywhere in our town forest. They're in the park, at the school, near a creek and river, along the streets and in people's yards. Our town forest includes more than just a lot of trees. It's, it also has people, buildings, houses, streets, cars, buses, and trucks. Our town forest also has shrubs, flowers, vines, water, soil, animals, and mushrooms. If you live in a town or city, you probably live in a forest too. Many kinds of trees live in our town forest. Some have big, broad leaves and names like maple, oak, ash, elm, and walnut. These trees lose their leaves in the fall. Conifer trees have thin needle-like leaves with names like pine, spruce, or fir. Most conifers stay green all year long, even in the winter. These trees are called evergreen. All conifers make cones that hold seeds. What kinds of trees are in your forest? Our town forest has many different sizes of trees. Some are tall, some are short, and some are in between, just like people. The trees are often different ages. My dad told me that the biggest trees are not always the oldest. Some trees can grow more than four feet a year, while others may only grow six to 24 inches a year. Forests provide many benefits for people and animals. My dad told me that trees and other plants release the invisible gas called oxygen that is needed by all living things to survive. Wow, this means trees and other plants help us stay alive. Trees are like big air conditioners. They run all summer long. My sister Abby and I like to play in the shade of our big trees. It would be really hot in the summer without any trees. Some trees are helpful in the winter time too. The pine trees in our backyard stay green all year long. They act like a wall to keep winter winds from blowing against our house. They protect the rabbits in the backyard too by giving them shelter, by giving them a sheltered place to live. Our forest provides a home for animals such as squirrels, birds, rabbits, owls, raccoons, butterflies, and beetles. Trees also provide food for some animals. The trees, shrubs, and grasses in our forest help the water we drink 
our forests help the water we drink at home and school stay clean. Tree and other plant roots filter out some unwanted materials in the water as it moves through the ground. Roots also help hold the soil so it doesn't wash away when it rains or when the snow melts. Without the help of tree and other plant roots, the water could get really yucky. Trees provide many benefits. They help cool the air, clean the water, provide homes and food for animals, and provide oxygen for us to breathe. These, they are, they also make our town look pretty. In order to do all these things and forests have, a, have to be healthy, foresters like my dad help trees grow strong and healthy. One day, I went to work with my dad. At first, I was mad because his workers cut down some trees, but then my dad told me that sometimes sick and injured trees have, uh, trees have to be removed so they won't fall on houses or on people. The best way to help the forest every time a tree is cut down is to plant a new tree to replace it. Every spring, we have a special tree planting day called Arbor Day. My dad lets me help. When I was four years old, my dad and I planted a tree for Arbor Day. We went to the tree farm, which is called a nursery, to choose the tree. We picked a white ash. It was neat because this tree had the same name as me. My dad calls it Ashley's tree. The first thing we did when we planted my tree was to dig a big wide hole. Then we put the tree in the middle of the hole and then we put the same soil back into the hole to cover the roots. Next, we covered the ground around the tree with wood chips. Finally, we gave the tree plenty of water. To protect my tree, my dad told me not to break the branches hit it with a lawnmower or weed whipper, carve my name onto it, or tie my dog, Uber, to it. Instead, I, want, I water the tree when it gets hot and dry, and my dad helps the tree become stronger by cutting and removing broken and weak branches. He does this to all trees in town at different times to help stay healthy and strong. Trees are neat living, living things, and really, we really need them in our towns and cities. They will always help us if we help them. Now that you know so much about trees and forests, you can enjoy the ones where you live. The end. So after reading our book, The Forest Where Ashley Lives, we have a couple activities for us. Our first activity um, worksheet is what comes from trees. So here is a list of all of different sorts of products and you have to decide which ones come from trees. And then circle your answers. Next we have the Who Am I riddle. So everybody will get one of these and then you can go around to your classmates and figure out the riddle of Who Am I? For example, the first one is what I am, who am I? I am a fruit where I can be red, yellow, green. I am sweet or sour. I am known for keeping the doctor away. To find me, visit an orchard. Who am I? An apple. Apples are found in orchards. And actually, a fun fact for you, Iowa is home to the red delicious apples. Our last activity is tree rings. Did you know that tree rings represent the age of the tree? So then if you saw that, you would be able to tell by how many rings are around the trunk that uh, how old the tree is. So how many rings old are you? Draw your rings on your um, tree and then you can cut this piece out and then punch a hole and I provided some yarn for you to have it as a little necklace. I hope you guys enjoyed this activity and I will see you guys next month.